Hi, welcome to the testing world. In this session, we are going to cover Unix and the Linux command for software testers. First, we need to understand what is Unix or Linux. So Unix and Linux both are the operating system like Windows. What are the different versions of the Unix? So, the different versions of the Unix which are available in the market are the Solaris, HPUX, AIX, and Ubuntu. So, we can use any of the versions. Same like Unix, we have the different versions of the Linux as well Red Hat and Fedora, and many more versions which are available in the market. Now question comes, why as a tester we need to learn Unix or Linux commands? So most of the company's application servers are deployed in the Unix and Linux machine. So as a tester we need to access these machines many times. Different reasons could be like So major task which as a tester we need to perform on the Unix and the Linux machines. Sometimes we need to install or uninstall the software or the application on these machines. Because my server is placed on the Linux machine and logs are generated on the same server side machine, so sometimes we need to access the logs. To view the logs, we need to go to these Unix and Linux machines. Sometimes it is required that we need to take the backup of the log files and then we will deploy the new build and new logs will be generated. So to take the backup of these log files, we have to go to Unix or Linux machine. Sometimes it is required that we need to, you know, do some cleanup. We need to free some space before uh, moving to the application installation or any other software installation. So for that, we have to go to the Unix and Linux machines. Like on a Windows, when we want to install some application, we'll have to check how much space it will take. Same like that, if we are going to the Linux or Unix machine, we'll have to check the memory status before any installation. As on a Windows, sometimes some process getting hanged. So what we do, we go to the task manager and then kill the process. Same can be done on the Linux and the Unix machine. Like we are checking the process is running or not, if yes, then we can kill it. So these are the major tasks that we are going to perform on the Unix and the Linux machines. Now question comes how to access this Unix and the Linux machines. So first we have their IP, username and a password. For that we need a small software, the name of the software is PuTTY. So that is the URL that we can use to download the PuTTY. Moving to the next step, here we have download this putty file. So I'll show you how the putty looks like. Here's the putty software. So once we get the putty, we need to give the IP of that machine. I'm giving the wrong IP because, you know, just showing how to get access on the Unix and Linux machine. I have given any demo IP over here that is not going to be work. Just to show how to access the Unix and the Linux machine. As you enter the IP, now click on the open to start connecting with that. Once connection is established, we are going to get this kind of window, this kind of black terminal window. First, it will ask for the username. We need to enter the username. Then it will ask for the password. As you enter the password, if the username and the password is correct, then we will get this terminal window of that Unix machine. So whatever the action we want to perform, we can perform over here. So we are going to cover a few basic commands in this session. First command is PWD. PWD means present working directory. That is quite similar to on Windows when we start command prompt. Uh, I show you the example. On Windows machine, 
when we start any command prompt we are getting the default path this is the path where my location is same on the linux machine pwd command show my current location so pwd is the first command that we can use to know our current location next command is ls so with the ls command we can view files and the folders in the current location so ls command display all the folders that comes under this location we can display the detail of these files and folders by command ls hyphen l hyphen l means it will display in the listing format with complete details so here we are going to get these are my folders with the details like when they are created date and time moving to the next part of the ls is ls hyphen l a a means we can view hidden files as well so here it display many files which are hidden all the files which are started with dot that are the hidden files so hidden files can be created by using dot at the start hidden files can be viewed just by placing a with ls so we have seen two commands pwd and ls i want to clear this screen so to clear the screen i have a next command that's like clear so as i you know mention the command clear enter my screen gets clear so these are the three commands that we have covered pwd ls and clear moving to the next command i want to create a folder over here mkdir testing word so i'm going to create a folder with the name testing word here a folder will be created i just go ls and here you can see one folder is created i want to remove this folder so for that rmdir and the name of the folder is testing word my folder will be removed now i check ls so here we can check folders removed so five commands that we have seen is a pwd ls clear mkdir and rmdir we are working on the many commands if i want to view the help of any of the command we can use the command men men means manual then the command name so i want to check the command name rmdir so it will open help of this rmdir command so we can do, go to the help that how we can use this rmdir what are the different you know parameters we can use with the rmdir so once you are done just press control z as you press control z we will come out from the help file so that's that's the sixth command that we have gone through it's a men two more commands we are going to cover in this session so first i you know pass clear and the seventh command that we are going to use is the ps so ps command display all the processes running on my system so here these are the processes running on my system it will show only the process which is started by me as a user but if i want to see all the process which are running by me by some other users or by the system so for that we use ps hyphen ef so as I press PS hyphen EF, press enter, it display all the processes running on my system. With all the processes, it shows the process ID as well. So these are the processes which are running on my system with the process ID. I'm using clear command. The next command is stop. If I want to check CPU usage, and the memory usage of my system so i can go to the top command it will display top 20 process which are taking highest memory and the cpu in my system so here we can check 
the data is updating in real time means whenever some other process took the more memory or the cpu usage it it comes to upper side if we want to check all the processes or the processes which are taking more memory and the cpu we are going for the top command if we want to come out from the top then we can use control z as we use control z we are coming out to the top command so we have seen around eight commands moving to my slides so these are the slides like i have gone through the putty then these are the commands like pwd ls man clear ps top mkdir and rmdir we have covered thanks for watching this video we have few more videos which are related to unix so you can go uh, to these videos for understanding the remaining commands that we are going to teach if you want to know more about us you can go to the www.thetestingworld.com and if you want any training support then you can call or whatsapp us 8743913121 thanks for watching this video